Good morning and welcome back to Vlogmas day 24. We are so close to the end. My name is Emma if you're new here and I'll be posting a vlog every day leading up to Christmas. Today is Saturday and we actually do have a Christmas celebration later today. But right now it's breakfast. I am having two different types of bagels. One is a chocolate chip bagel and one is a plain bagel. But I figured I wanted a little bit of a bigger breakfast today because we're probably not going to eat until around 1 p.m. since our Christmas celebration is in like a lunchtime afternoon time frame. So I need a big breakfast this morning to hold me over. But we're going to eat this bagel, drink some coffee, and then we're going to try to hop on the Peloton bike before we need to leave. Luca, it's time for a bath. Okay, here comes the corgi scoop. <laughs> here comes the corgi. Luca getting his Christmas bath. <laughs> I'm going to try to hop on the bike before my mom this morning while she's taking out Luca because we have limited time this morning to get our workout in. So I'm going to be doing the 30 minute Paramount holiday ride by Kendall Tool from December 20th, 2023. My mom's also going to take this ride. Kendall is pretty hard for us. I feel like she does a lot of high cadence which I'm not the best at, but I do like her personality. I usually like her music choices. I am excited to take this ride. I just think it's gonna be on the hard side, which you know, that's okay, because it's the only big ride that we're doing today. After that, I'm gonna do a five minute cool down ride by Samyo from December 8th, 2023. And then the same five minute holiday post ride stretch by Samyo from December 14th, 2022. I don't know what it is, but for me, if I find like a five minute cooldown or five minute stretch that I like to do, I will just repeat it endlessly. There was one point where I was taking like a five minute cooldown ride by Ben Aldis, the same one for like a year straight. I could just fall into that rut and like I am happy there. Let me know if you take the same cooldown rides and stretches or if you like mix it up. For the cooldown rides so far, I've been just trying to mix it up, but you know, that old Ben Aldis one was pretty good. Maybe I should take it again. But let's show you my outfit and then hop on the bike. For the outfit today, we got a Peloton Cadence bra. Love this bra, no complaints. I do have beef with these leggings though. They're Peloton Nike leggings. These are the only Nike leggings that I own and I hate them. They roll down so much. I don't really know what it is because they feel like they give me good compression, but for some reason, as soon as I sit, it starts rolling. And I really think they're cute. Like I love the purple color, but man, these just do not work for me. And we have Adidas socks again and a Maven Thread headband. So let's go hop on the bike. I really did not like that ride. It's probably one of my least favorite rides I've taken this year, and it's definitely my least favorite holiday ride I've taken so far. So the music was not bad. I liked the music. It was Paramount music, so music from movies, but she picked like very popular songs. I'm not a big movie person, but I still recognize the majority of the music, and it was like good Christmas music. No complaints there. The class plan is basically what I expected from Kendall. A lot of high cadence, a lot of going fast out of the saddle. Not my favorite, but that is what I was expecting from her. So even there, that wasn't a miss for me. My two big complaints from this ride is number one, there were like spliced in movie scenes. I think there were three scenes. One of them was Mean Girls. I'm going to really show my lack of movie knowledge because I didn't even know the other two movies. But I just didn't need that. Like, I don't need you to be splicing in movie scenes for me to watch while I'm cycling. I just want, like, the cycling plan. Because obviously when we were watching the scenes, we were in recovery. But then I feel like the recovery was too long. Like, I just didn't need that. I guess that was the whole point of, like, Paramount Holiday Ride. And if you were a movie buff, maybe you would enjoy it more. But that could have been a skip for me. Number two was that pretty much the entire time... Kendall was complaining about the holidays. Like, I think she was trying to do it in solidarity with people. 
And maybe my mom will feel differently because my mom does do a lot of the holiday work. Like I know there is a lot of work to be done during the holidays and it can be a stressful time preparing everything so everybody has this lovely day. But like, I enjoy the holidays. I enjoy Christmas. I like seeing my family. I like hearing what they're up to. And yeah, Kendall just kept complaining. She's like, oh, you have to go to these recitals and the kids are bad and then you have to decorate your house and that's a pain. And it's just like, yeah, this is really negative and I don't need negativity in my Peloton ride. So that was my biggest gripe with this ride. But overall, I would say skip unless if you really like movie things or if you want to hear someone complain and like feel like someone understands you. I just feel like maybe I wasn't the target audience. I am curious to see what my mom thinks because I think she won't like it, but we'll see. I'm very, very curious. My output was a little lower than normal. I think it was around 250, but pretty average, like nothing super, super low that it was like a bad ride. It was still a good workout. The cool down and stretch was also good. And now I am ready to shower and get ready for the day. What a clean and handsome boy you are after your bath. I am finally going to finish up my wrapping today. Honestly, I don't know if it was better to split it up over a couple days or just do it all at once. I feel like doing it all at once though would have been a lot of wrapping. But today we just have my dad left and Chris's parents left. So I'm gonna do my dad first. He's getting like a couple small things. So the first up is coffee, which I got him in New York in an earlier vlog. So this is a classic. I always get him some good coffee. I think he will really like this one. So I'm excited for him to open that. I also got him truff. This is truffle oil. And he's kind of getting into cooking a little bit more recently. So I figured this is like a fancy little oil that he can try out. My parents aren't really into like spicy things. So I figured this could like add flavor without adding spice. And then this is kind of the biggest risky thing, I think. Actually, the next two are like, I hope that he likes them. This is a hyper chiller. I've seen this on TikTok where essentially it's just like a giant ice cube and you pour your hot beverage into it and then it makes it cool. My dad does like iced coffee and I could see him using this for iced coffee in the summer, but he actually drinks iced tea very frequently and he just like waters it down crazy, like just dilutes it with ice. So I actually think this is more of an iced tea gift, but we will see. I think it's funny because for his birthday last year, I got him the Ember mug that like heats up your coffee. So I just keep getting him things that regulates the temperature of your beverage. But I'm interested to see. I've seen really good things about it on TikTok, so hopefully it works well. And then the last thing, this is actually the riskiest, is a book. I try to pick out whatever book I read this past year that I think my dad would like the most. Last year I gave him Tomorrow, Tomorrow, and Tomorrow, and that book just hit. Like, I mean, I love that book. He really liked Normal People, and I feel like that book isn't exactly like Normal People, but has very similar vibes. So he really, really liked that book. This book is definitely a little more risky, I think. I got him Babel by R.F. Kuang. This book is a fantasy book where essentially the magic derives from language and from translation. It's a little bit of a pretentious book in my opinion, but I did enjoy it. It follows a main character who is Chinese, but he's brought to London when he's really young to take advantage of his Chinese and his translation abilities and then the magic he can produce. And you know, he gets up to all kinds of trouble. So we'll see. I gave it five stars. Like I did enjoy this book, but it's an interesting pick for my dad. So we'll have to see if he likes it. He usually will give it a fair chance and I'm curious to know his thoughts. But that is everything for my dad. So let's wrap this up first. My dad's presents are done and I'm going to quickly wrap this Lalabo candle for Chris's parents. The last thing I have to wrap. Chris's parents get the fancy corgi wrap and tag. And the last thing I have is for Chris's dad, I got him this pink Lululemon hat. 
because we were on vacation this year and he just kept looking at pink hats. I'm hoping he has not bought this color hat. If so, I'm just going to be like, give it back and, you know, pick a different color out. But yeah, I'm hoping that this is, you know, slam dunk gift, but we'll see. I wasn't sure how to wrap it. And I asked my mom and she gave me this nice little Christmas tin to put it in. So I'm just going to wrap it in some tissue paper. And then we are done with all gifts for the year. That was an easy one. 10 out of 10 way to wrap a gift. My mom asked me to quickly run to the pet store and buy Luca two squeakers for Christmas, like toys. You know, I think Luca probably has enough toys, but she does love her baby. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go pet store and hopefully they have, you know, a good selection. Many options, but I don't know if a lot of these squeak and my mom wants squeakers. Not gonna lie, I panic called my mom when I was in there because I was like, there's just too many choices. And I feel like a lot of the stuff doesn't squeak. Or if it does squeak, it's a stuffed animal. And Luca cannot deal with stuffed animals. He will destroy a stuffed animal in under a minute. So we need like something that's hard but still squeaks. But I think we got him some good things. We got him this Kong that squeaks in the middle. I won't squeak it for the sake of your ears. I will be listening to this later today. But I feel like this is, you know, nice. Get some stimulation from the tennis ball too. And then I got him just this ball that also squeaks. I like the colors. And then my mom is also like, oh, get him a Benny Bone too, which he just like gnaws on these things. But he does enjoy gnawing on them. So that is the Christmas haul for Luca. It's time to go home. And then we actually need to go and leave so we can get to lunch on time. We are at Christmas lunch. <laughs> My brother got a quesadilla burger. Interesting invention from yeah, Applebee's. That looks good. <laughs> oh, yeah. this and good. this chicken tender platter is looking good. This is a lot of chicken. I have a burger. Yeah, my mom got a burger. My dad got pasta. My grandma got steak. <laughs> and my grandpa's ribs. in the bathroom, but he also got steak. Oh, yeah, you got ribs. Is that to replace the red sweater yeah. that mom murdered? We are back home, and I think the best gift of the day goes to my grandma, who got Chris and I this ginormous tower of candy and baked goods. We are going to be eating well for a while here. This is so big. I am back from my grandparents. I probably have not eaten at Applebee's for 10 years, but that chicken finger platter really hit the spot. I don't even know the last time I had chicken fingers, but for some reason I woke up today and I was craving them and man, so good and so big. I literally have enough for like an entire meal tomorrow. So I will have chicken fingers part two for Christmas Eve. But it was super nice to see my grandparents and my brother celebrate Christmas with them a little bit early. I might have slipped a cookie or two and it's already 6 p.m. We are back home and I'm just going to relax for the rest of the night. I definitely need a smoothie for dinner at some point. I need some fruit in this system. Today was very carb heavy day with my bagel and fries but it was very tasty, very good, and a nice way to start the Christmas festivities. The smoothie lineup for tonight is frozen blueberries, a banana, vanilla plant protein, and water. Yum. Smoothies always hit the spot. It's now for the best part of the day the advent calendar. So today is the 23rd. We are nearing the end. Let's see what today's flavor is. Cafe Noir. I think this was day one flavor and I think I just thought it was okay. But now that I've had all the other flavors, let's see my new thoughts on it. Honestly, that was better than I remember. I feel like that's a solidly mid to good flavor like i'm talking top core tile but not the absolute best so still a good way to wrap up today i was looking and there's only one more day left and i can't remember what flavor i haven't had twice i want to say rosemary truffle sea salt or cinnamon clove but we'll see tomorrow 
So what are your thoughts on the Kendall ride? I do better when it's a more structured ride. I don't like, you know, there's too much going on in yeah. that ride. <laughs> Film clips and um, I didn't think it was overly hard, right? I don't feel like I really got a good workout, but I, I can't I go 110 right. with the yeah. cadence. Yeah, so. the cadence pushes um, were hard. You know, the music was good and, you know, the film clips were, were nice, but, you know. I'm there. No, I did not like I'm, the film I'm clips. There, I'm there yeah. to exercise, not to watch film clips. Yeah, I don't um, need, I didn't need the film clips at no, all. No, I didn't either. I, you know, it was, you know, yes, you chuckled, like I say, I get on the bike to get my 30 minutes of exercise and, you know, I felt a little robbed. <laughs> I also just feel like she was very negative in this ride. Like she was just complaining about Christmas in general. Well, yeah, a lot of the, you know, are you dating anybody when you yeah. get married? When are you going to have kids? But and, I was just like, I, know, I don't need yeah. this negativity. Like yeah, I'm just here to do my of, 30 yeah. minutes yeah. of exercise. You know what happened to the motivation? Yeah. <laughs> there was no motivating. No, this was my least favorite ride I've taken in a while. I really did not like it. Yeah, I find her too hard usually, but like I say, I, I do better when it's structured. I like when they tell you what's coming and how long it's going to be, you know, like yeah. they say, you know, you're going to do a climb, you're going to do a whatever, you know, and I don't like this loosey goosey. And, you know, when the clips were going, I wasn't sure. Quite yeah, what I was supposed yeah to be doing, the clips so. were just recovery, basically. Oh, okay. I mean, my thing with Kendall, I think that she's hard for me because it's faster cadence and she doesn't ever do like super heavy resistance. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I do better with the more resistance. Yeah, because yeah. it's easier. It's more, so. yeah, yeah, it's more, it's strength more strength than yeah. cardio. Yeah. I can't, you know, do 110. In fact, most of the time when she was yelling 95, I, you know, I was probably, um, you know, high 80s, really low 90s. And you I just do lucky. whatever you can. That's what I do. I, yeah. So my output was 225, which was kind of low. I tried to at least get 235, so. Mine was like 250. And that's pretty oh, that, average for me. It's really? not great, but like... I would think that'd be low for you. No, that, that's like... I got on the bike and did a ride in yeah, 250. Yeah, 250. Not like I was working mass. super yeah. hard, but yeah. it... Yeah. Yeah, no, my Sam Yo output was really high for me. Yeah, like, that was pretty high, yeah. That was a good ride. Yeah. Yeah, it was, you know, it was a holiday ride, so... I, and I did not... I missed completely what Paramount was when she said it was from Paramount Christmas movies. Yeah, I... Um, like didn't realize until we started the ride, but it makes sense. I'm yeah. just not a big movie person. Well, so. when she said Paramount, I had in my head uh, Paramore. Paramore. <laughs> yeah, because she always does those punk rides, right? And I'm like, yeah, no, I guess not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good ride, though. You know, mm. glad I got 30 minutes in. Yeah, right? 30 minutes of a bad ride is still better than no ride at all. That's so. true. Positive outlook. You know. Yeah. All right. Well. I am going to wrap up Vlogmas Day 24 here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for the final Vlogmas of 2023. Bye! Bye-bye!